Well, a Hoosier patient was the first person in the country to undergo a new kind of PET scan to determine if his prostate cancer had spread. And the cutting edge imaging technology was created by Telix Pharmaceuticals, which is uh, located its U.S. headquarters in Fishers just two years ago. Business of Health reporter Kylie Valletta has details. Kylie. Thank you, Gary. This is the first commercial product for Telix, which the young company launched just last week. The FDA approved Elucix in December to improve PET scans related to prostate cancer. And now doctors at the IU School of Medicine are the very first in the U.S. to use the new tool, imaging their first patient just days ago. Jason Kaufman is Director of Marketing for the Americas at Telix Pharmaceuticals, and he joins me now to tell us more about this milestone. Thanks for being on the show today. Thank you, Kylie. And congratulations on the first product launch. Thank you very much. It's I know an honor. It's, it's an exciting time for you. Let's talk first about what Elucix is. It's a radio pharmaceutical, also known as a nucle nuclear medicine, which is this entirely cutting edge area. So what is it and how does it improve PET scans? So keep in mind uh, about 260,000 American men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer. Uh, in, in the U.S., 5,000 of which are here in Indiana. So uh, it, it's, a, it's one of the second leading causes uh, of cancer in, uh, it, it, sorry. It's okay, in the U.S., correct? In the U.S. Right. Um, it, it is the second leading cause, uh, cause of cancer in, in men in the U.S. And that's where Elucix comes in. Uh, you know, Elucix is a radiopharmaceutical that is really designed to help urologists understand the extent of disease better. Um, when someone is diagnosed with, with cancer, their first question is, how bad is it? Where is it? What do I do? And, and so this gives a urologist a, a tool, a better tool um, over previous uh, modalities to understand the extent of that disease. And I like the name Elucix uh, refers to how it illuminates these prostate cancer cells that may have spread. Uh, IU School of Medicine, doctors there were the very first doctors in the country to use Elucix. And that was very intentional, right? It, it was. Um, the Indiana University School of Medicine has been with us literally from the start. Uh, they helped us uh, provide data for our initial um, validation here in the U.S., um, which really started our journey towards uh, FDA approval um, a number of years ago. So uh, it was only fitting to come back to IU. Um, Dr. Clint Baylor, a uh, urologist uh, at the School of Medicine, has been a, a great partner for us. And it was great to see our, our first patient. Um, he, he had just had his uh, uh, prostate removed back in November uh, of last year and when Dr. Baylor saw that his PSA levels were rising uh, he wanted to understand what the extent uh, of the disease may be um, in his patient so it was a perfect opportunity to get him in uh, do the first scan of Elucix and uh, really gave Dr. Baylor a better understanding of how to proceed with, with his patient. I know he represents thousands of patients uh, right here in Indiana. So Central Indiana in recent years has really become a hot spot for nuclear medicine. Explain how that's going to help the rollout of Elucix. So Central Indiana, um, you know, Fishers has been a great partner. Uh, Indianapolis, uh, the greater metro area, is really perfectly set up because of uh, companies like FedEx, Lilly, Roche Diagnostics, Cardinal Health. Um, those are all resources that we can leverage as, as a small company uh, to ensure that we have all the tools necessary to bring a, a commercial agent like, like Elucix to the market. And you uh, used an analogy that I really like, that these molecules have such a short shelf life, you, you call it, it's like a melting ice cube. Yeah, so a radio pharmaceutical is um, based in part on uh, a radioisotope, which decays just like any um, radiation material. And so so with that, uh, there's a limited amount of time that you have to get it from the point of manufacture to into the patient. And so it literally is like a, dealing with a melting ice cube. It's very important to have the right partners, the right distribution systems in place to make, it, make sure that it happens seamlessly and, and gets to the patient when they need it. All right. Well, congratulations on the product. I know you're moving to a new site in Fishers. You're growing so fast, so we'll be following you. Thank you very much, Kylie. Gary, back to you.